What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I've got some great content today regarding um, a certain bypass, premium bypass on iOS devices. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the tool we're going to be using today is called the HFZ Activator Tool. And I'll show you what I like mostly about this tool. And I'll point out some other good perks about it as well. So basically, um, this program is compatible with all Checkmate devices. So for example, if you've got an iPhone 5S to an iPhone X, as long as um, the phone is SIM free and locked, it'll work. If you've got um, any iPad from iOS 12 to iOS 17, well, not all of them on iOS 17, but some of them on iOS 17, then it'll work basically. But the iPads have to be cellular. They won't be uh, Wi-Fi versions. So what I'm gonna do is a premium bypass, show you exactly how it's done and show you exactly how to do it. And the prices are really cheap as well. So, Basically, the first thing you want to do is download, where is it, two, that's the one there we want, HFZ RAM Disk Universal version 3.8. That's the one we want to download, okay? So, we'll download this now. And once the download is complete, I'll show you exactly what I mean. When that comes up, don't panic, okay, people? A lot of people do, but there's no need. I'll show you now. When that comes up, system settings. If you're on Ventura or Son Sonoma, when you open up your settings, go to privacy and security. And you want to go on, I'll show you now. Scroll to the bottom and there you see it there. Open anyway. Put in the password. And open. Excellent, perfecto. So once you've downloaded it, you can close out of this now. Head over to your launch pad. And there it is, HFZ RAM Disk Universal. Open it up. Now at this stage, you connect it to your device, right? And I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. All right, this is the important part. All right, so connect it to your device, and quite simply, as you can see, check your device info and connection. Please wait, um, and I'll show you the next steps. Okay, HF said RAM disk. User. First, press boot button to boot device. After that, tool will work. Now, what you need to do at this stage, right, is basically head over to your web browser. In my case, I'm using Safari. Yeah. So let's do Google. And basically type in just a tech, okay? Just a tech. And you want to see that third one there, his blog, yeah? It was only updated two days ago. Click on that. All right, and it's right here in plain sight, look. Join our Telegram channel, yeah? Click on that. 
and what you want to do is these are all his social media handles as you can see the one you want to go on is this one here contact me personally telegram okay so if you select that one there it'll guide you over to telegram obviously you know if you're not signed into telegram sign into it um or you could just go on his blog on your phone and basically contact me personally on telegram there it'll go straight to his private chat it's that simple um and basically just say you know hi hi there how much is it for for example an iphone 8 or an iphone x or um a sixth gen cellular seventh gen cellular fifth gen cellular you know and he'll give you the prices and tell you, you know, how to pay him, basically. But that is how you contact the man. And it's a really good service. Like, the thing is, most of you who follow my channel and follow me, you already know who Just The Tech is, you know? So, but, like, I thought it'd be good to do this video, to get this content out there. Because the thing is, it's a really good tool to use. And I'm going to show you at the end what I like about it and find so intriguing about it. And I think that you folks will as well. So at first, let's click boot device. Because once you've paid for it and then it's classed as activated, you'll come over to here and then you click boot device. Right. So as I said, fail to enter recovery mode. No problem at all. This can happen. Okay. Simply connect the device, uh, sorry, disconnect the device, connect it back up, right? Yep. So there we go. It's checking device info and connection. Please wait. Now, of course, like I said, by now you should have gone on to his telegram, private messaged him, and basically he would have got it activated on his end, you know. MEID is supported. GSM is supported as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And you get full signal with all the iPhones, the 8, 8 Plus, the X. Yeah, you, you get all that. Absolutely. It's a real good premium service. So let's try it again. Boot device again. Excellent. So now it's going to go, it's going to put itself into a recovery state. And then I'm going to put it into a DFU um device firmware update okay so let's start that now okay so it's successfully gone into dfu mode it's showing the ecid on there that's good It's a really, really good service, this is. And you'll see yourself shortly. Sometimes you might get errors at first, but that's sometimes, usually it works first time. You know, he's um, he's a well-trusted developer and he's, he's big, you know, he's massive in this field of iCloud, exp you know, his expertise in iCloud is absolutely remarkable. So now, now that's done that now, now we want to select, we've booted, and now it's going to be giving us the option to activate. So let's do it, people. Activate device. Look at that. Successfully activated. Rebooting device. There we go. Job done. But there is something I'd like to show you. Let's wait a minute. Waiting for device. It's a really good service, this is.
really good. Okay, so here we go. Uh, that'll check in device info and connection. Please wait. As you can see now, the activation state says activated. See, is activated. So now, if I um, go through the setup, it may still take me to the lock. And if it does, then I'll boot the device again. But hopefully it'll work this first time. It's just sometimes you may get like a little technicality sometimes, you know, but very rarely, very, very rarely. Fully activated. This tool, this program is a really good program. It's an excellent tool by far, by far. And you're going to, you're going to see that now. Look at that straight to data and privacy. So there we go. We know, we certainly know it works. It's just uh, something I'd like to show you, the people, which I know a lot of you will find interesting because I find interesting. So you're bound to find this interesting. And like most bypasses, especially for iCloud, MDM slightly different, but a bypass for iCloud like this on this level, you'll see now. Okay, so basically, let's disconnect that now. <clears throat> what I'd like to show you, point out, etc., is so everything works. Uh, full premium, fully untethered, right? Um, so sign into iCloud, no problem. FaceTime, my message, all fully active. Put any um, any SIM card in as well, and it'll work. And that's what I mean. If you're using an iPhone X, 8 Plus or an 8, or even a 7 or 7 Plus is compatible, you know? They're really nice devices, like, you know? So, now you can see this is done. I want to firstly show you that it's fully untethered, and then I'll move on to the next step. So powering it off, one, two, three, power it on. Okay. You're gonna like this. Now, this obviously confirms that it's fully untethered, right? Brilliant, excellent, excellent, absolutely perfect, yeah? But I got something better to show you than that. On most others, when you do this, look, transfer or reset iPad. This is very interesting, yeah? All bypasses, right, especially those that are not premium, if you do this on them, you have to pay for the service again if it's not premium. But I want to show you something, right? Erase all content and settings. So now we are going to continue and wipe, erase the entire iPad in itself, okay? So I've just erased all, con well, I'm erasing all content and settings. I'm totally wiping the device clean, right? This is a really, really good service. And like I said, the prices are cheap. Premium and everything. And after this, if your device locks, you can always um, connect it up to the program 
and get it done for free. Ready? Look at that. I just wiped the entire device. It's been wiped. But it hasn't gone to the hello screen. It hasn't even gone to the hello screen. It's gone straight to the apps. Which means if you've done this uh, at a friend's house or whatever um, and you didn't have a computer or, you know, whatever the reason, you know, you erased all content and settings and then basically it comes straight back to the apps. Whereas all other bypasses, they go straight to the hello screen. And then what happens? You put in your language, your region, you connect to your Wi-Fi and what shows up? iPad lock to owner. Yeah. <laughs> or iPhone lock to owner. Ah, see what I mean? Exactly, exactly. Of course you do, of course you do. So, this is what I wanted to show you, basically. This was the main feature by erasing all content and settings. There is one thing I need to add and clarify. Goes without saying. And that is, yes, if you connect it to Finder, iTunes, slash 3U tools to do a restore, will the activation lock come back? Oh, you bet it will. Absolutely it will. Yes. And then what you do is simple. You connect it to the program, the premium service that you've rightly paid for, and you do the bypass again, just like that. And that's basically it. If this video has helped in any way, shape or form, smash that like. Be sure to subscribe because I have plenty of content on you. Um, iCloud locks, remote management locks, unable to activate issues, all that type of stuff, iTunes errors, whatever. If that's up your street, and I, I don't just cover iPads, I cover iOS devices, MacBooks, Apple Watches, etc. If that's up your street, and I know it is, you want to smash that subscribe. Because I have a lot of good content on you, and I'm going to have a lot more good content to come. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.